Today I'm going to show you how my Pinterest impressions for my Shopify store increased by over 100x. From basically nothing to thousands of views per month in the space of a few weeks, literally without me posting anything. And that is all because I became a Pinterest verified merchant. So I also get this blue check mark on my profile, which lets people know that they can trust my brand. And it also lets anyone buy directly from my Shopify store on my Pinterest page. Now I was rejected the first time I applied for the verified merchant program. Uh, but as you can see, I eventually did manage to get accepted on my reapplication. Getting rejected is not the end of the road. And I'm glad that I put in the effort because my monthly views on Pinterest went from about 100 views a month to consistently over 10K now, like 14 to 15K even. And this is without posting a single pin manually since I got verified. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but what does it actually do? Why is this verified merchant badge so powerful for free traffic? Well, obviously you get this blue check mark. It gives you trust points with customers, but this is not just a vanity feature to make you look legit like all the other big brands. So the real key comes down to this line here, eligibility for distribution of your products within our shopping experiences. Now, what does this mean practically? So let's say you have a Shopify store and you wanna promote your products organically. You would have to create and post hundreds, even thousands of pins, and you'd have to post them every day. You'd have to put them in boards with other people's pins, create tags for them and so on, right? And it will be possible to get some traffic that way, but it's gonna take a very long time because there's just so much content on Pinterest already. People use like spam bots essentially to get thousands of pins out there a day. And it's something you've really got to grind on if you wanna compete for that free traffic. But when you're a verified merchant and you've connected your sales channel, whether it be Shopify or another platform to Pinterest, all you have to do is tick this Pinterest sales channel box and every time you upload a new product, a new pin is created automatically from every single product image attached to that product. So for instance, I usually have about 10 images per product, um, sometimes more. And every time I hit publish on Shopify, because I'm a verified merchant now, it automatically uploads 10 new pins to my Pinterest account without me doing anything. And all these pins have my product description with the SEO keywords that I've researched. And each of these pins links back to my Shopify store. Now these are called shop product pins. So if I just upload like 10 new products onto my Shopify store, a hundred pins are automatically created on Pinterest, thrown out into the search engine where they're gonna be linking back to my shop forever without me doing any now, what's even crazier is I had no idea that this would happen before I became verified, but not only are pins created from new products, but the product images from your existing active products are turned into individual pins as well. I mean, I can't remember how many active products I had at the time I got accepted, probably like a 150 or something. So I essentially went from 50 pins that I just made by myself very slowly to over 1500 pins overnight. So hopefully you can see how this is very powerful for anybody who wants free traffic, which is all of us, right? And in this video, I'm gonna be going through step by step how I got verified as well as why I got rejected the first time. So you know what you can do if you also get rejected and then you can get this verified merchant badge for your online store as well. Before we move on, I wanted to tell you about today's video sponsor, Dot Store Domains. If you're a creator who wants to start an online store on your own website, which by the way, you'll need to do if you want to become a verified merchant on Pinterest, Interest, then you'll need a special web address called the domain name. Think of it as your website's very own ID on the internet, for example, rihanna.store, shopify.com, or behance.net. The ending parts of those links, .store.com or .net, are called the domain name extension. It's a unique tag that sets websites apart, and it's a quick way to indicate what type of website someone's looking at. If you're running an online store, a .store domain is a great choice to consider because a website that ends in .store tells your customers right away that they've stumbled on an online store and switches their mental state from browsing to buying mode. A .store domain isn't just about getting more visitors. It also makes your store way easier to find. And it's no wonder many big names and brands, including Ronaldo, Michelle Obama, Rihanna, and even Discord have chosen a .store domain for their official online store. And if you're starting a brand from scratch, 
nine times out of 10, a .com domain is already taken. So instead of changing the name of your dream brand and settling for something long and clunky, why not add .store after it instead? Not only do you have a much bigger choice of available names, you're also letting customers know that they're on an online store immediately. Problem solved. A study done by Contrast Digital last year showed that a site with the .store domain had a cheaper cost of acquiring a customer and a higher conversion rate with Google Ads and more than twice the organic impressions of a similar .com store. So if you want more clicks and more sales, a .store domain is perfect for you. Cash is tight when you're starting out, so .store domains have a program called Elevate.store to help all online sellers with discounts of up to $2,500 on e-commerce tools. And right now, they've got a special limited time deal for my viewers. You can get your .store domain for just 99 cents for the first year. Use the link in my description and the code Tia, that's T-I-A, to get this offer and grab your own dot store domain today. Big thanks to dot store domains for sponsoring this video. Now, verified merchant is different from approved merchant. So firstly, you have to be an approved merchant before you can apply for the verified merchant program. And this just means syncing your catalog with your Pinterest account, which you can do very easily with an app in Shopify. I'll show you that later. Now, from personal experience, after I had become a so-called approved merchant, I was able to tick the Pinterest sales channel on my Shopify listings, uh, my Shopify products, but my traffic was still around 100 views a month. I tried searching for these supposed product shop pins and I couldn't find them either. So I don't think this actually does anything for you traffic wise. It was only after I became a verified merchant that I noticed my traffic actually go up significantly, just like that, and I could actually find uh, search for my own shopping pins in the search results. So based on that experience, I think, you know, being an approved merchant is not enough to get this boost in traffic. You do have to become a verified merchant. Okay. Now, before I go through the process with you step by step, first of all, to be approved and verified, you need to meet the merchant guidelines for both approval and verification. Otherwise you risk getting rejected at both stages. Now, firstly, merchant requirements. So this is for merchant approval, which you have to get before you get verified. You have to have your own website to do this. You can't get merchant approval if you're selling on an Etsy store or something like that. I suggest you use Shopify because of the very easy integration, but you can just paste some HTML code into your website if you're using something else. So let's go through these one by one. Firstly, merchants must not be resale or consignment marketplaces. No affiliate marketing allowed. No wholesale retailing it has to be a DTC brand. Uh, I mean, you can probably offer wholesale options, but the main business must be like a consumer brand. Here, this stuff's probably gonna be relevant for more people. So you must have a clear returns policy with expectations and a contact information. So even if you don't accept returns, you still have to state that you don't. You have to have an about page, okay? So this was the reason I got rejected. It seems like a stupid thing. I mean, it seems unnecessary, but customers actually do look at this page. So you do have to have this high quality pages. So fix your grammar. Uh, you could probably use AI if you have a problem with this nowadays. Your domain age has to be more than three months, okay? So that is something to take note of and hopefully you're not gonna do any of these things. Also, if you have an email pop-up thing, then make sure that people can actually close out of it. Now for your product requirements, most of these are pretty obvious, but the only thing to note is that Pinterest must have current information about the product. And I'll show you how you can sync this later. You just do it with the app in Shopify. Okay, let's move on to the verification guidelines. So firstly, these are the countries currently available to be verified at the moment. If you're not on this list, unfortunately you can't, but they definitely have added in a lot of countries since I last checked. Uh, I think it's like double the amount now, so you can come back later and maybe your country will be here. Now for the verified merchant, they do have some additional requirements. So your actual Pinterest account has to be a business account. It has to be at least three months old. You need a profile picture and an about section. Now your website, so your domain age basically, needs to be at least nine months old. Okay, so remember three months for approval, nine months for verification and it needs to meet the merchant guidelines which we've just gone through and your catalog needs to be ingested which your app will sort out for you and in the last 30 days of your application you need to have one page visit one add to cart and one checkout in the past week now if your website and pinterest page meets all of these criteria then you can apply and here's how to 
get it step by step. Firstly, make sure your Pinterest is a business account. If it's still a personal account, then here are the instructions on how to convert it. And then install the Pinterest app on your Shopify store. So go to the app store, search for Pinterest and install it. So this is really the easiest way of getting your Pinterest tag, which is basically like a pixel. It tracks conversions, add to carts, things like that. And you don't have to copy and paste code onto every product page. Now, once you've done that, it should appear on the left here and you can then connect your Pinterest account. Just follow the instructions. It's very easy. Then go to your Pinterest account, go to settings and claimed external accounts. Okay. And then claim your website. So the app might do this for you automatically. I can't exactly remember, but in which case just still come here and check that it's claimed properly. And once you've installed that and applied, you'll ha just have to wait and you'll receive an email from Pinterest in the next few days telling you whether you've been accepted or not. And if you have been accepted for your merchant approval, you should be able to see merchant status approved, uh, Shopify connected and good setup API. Now, once you have been approved in your Pinterest business hub, you should see a button somewhere here. I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was here. Uh, that asks you to apply for verified merchant program. So you can do that directly in your business hub. And before you apply, make sure your products have the Pinterest sales channel turned on so you can get those uh, shop pins immediately once you are accepted. And then just to remind you, you know, the guidelines, if your business and your Pinterest page meets all these criteria, uh, remember the about section and the policy pages, then you can apply through your business hub and you just wait for an email telling you whether you've been approved or not. Now, if you get rejected, first obviously make sure to review the rules and see what you can do to meet all of them if you don't. If you are sure that you fulfill the criteria or if you are not sure like what else you can do, then instead of reapplying and trying to bang your head into a brick wall, basically you can actually book a meeting with a sales expert. Now on this meeting, what they'll probably try and do is convince you to use Pinterest ads and so on. But obviously if you're going to advertise, it does help if you are a verified merchant. So you can just ask them directly on the call to review your website and your page. I can't guarantee this works, but I have read on forums that this has worked for some people. So just try that before reapplying a bunch of times. I mean, it's nice to actually be able to talk to someone that works for Pinterest and have them look over your website because you are a possible client, right? And it could just be one small thing like the about page that you've missed out. And it's much easier to have someone just check over it for you. Now, unfortunately, like most platforms, you can get suspended. So make sure your business is in good standing. You know, you have good customer service and meets all of these criteria. Now, notice that one of them is that you should have at least one add to cart and check out within the last 30 days for any given time period. So ideally make at least one sale a month. If you can't manage that, then you can probably just buy your own product because I feel like, you know, firing up the pixel is really all they need. That should work. I can't be a hundred percent sure, but let me know if it doesn't. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.